Hey guys, this is just a very short and impromptu video that I thought of making about staccato uh, using Kreutzer's Etude No. 4. Staccato for me is, is a technique which is ever-evolving. I mean, my ideas on it, on you know, the manner of execution and how to practice it are ever-changing. And it's a, it's a very difficult technique. I mean, it's something that, that, that can be very challenging for, uh, for many people to learn. So I thought I would just share with you some, uh, some ideas on how to uh, develop your staccato and practice it. So first, just to start with the basic building block of a staccato stroke. Basically, it all starts with this. You try and really bite the string from the very first second you start the bow stroke. That's very important. It's almost like exaggerating a very good contact on any sort of bow stroke, but especially with staccato and trying to maintain a very concise, efficient stroke with your wrist and fingers at the beginning. At the beginning, I think it's a very good idea to think of it as a sort of a, like, a, like a seesaw effect, to make sure that the first finger is really leading the way for the bite and for the release after, which is equally as important. So at slower speed, comfortable and you get um, faster and faster then you can sort of the way you think about the hand motion instead of being purely a seesaw then you can actually start to transition slowly into more of a handshake motion and so forth also I just wanted to share with you another tip which I find uh, very effective Especially during high speeds, it's about training the, the reflexes. So for example, we can, we can start just by groups of two. So we really try and make sure to stop after two strokes and uh, to try not to even hear a preparatory bite for the next note. And then of course you can do groups of three. And then in groups of four. This can be quite a challenging exercise at first, but for me it's a very satisfying one and also can, can be a good way of warming up the right hand, actually. So I hope that was helpful. Feel free to leave any questions and uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.